everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with another 2-in-1 AEW figure review on the brand new AEW and Rival Collection Series number 7, Nyla Rose and Lance Archer figures. Now, yesterday, we did take a closer look at the Young Bucks from Series 7, so if you guys missed that video, definitely go check it out. But here we are back again today, man, with Nyla Rose and Lance Archer, two dominant figures in their respective divisions. Both of them have worn gold in AEW, and we're going to crack them out of the packaging here today, man. I do have my gripes about the figures, which we are going to get into into as we crack them out of their packaging man but as you guys can see here on the front viewing windows you do have both of them standing here kind of a weird looking pose for lance archer like he just looks at it like the left arm bent and the right one kind of stiff there and it's i don't know not a very good looking figure in package as far as his pre-packaged pose on the side of packaging you do have an image of both the talent right there you got the front viewing window again got their name in the gold plate down the side there aew logos on the side on the back you get an image of both the talents there rest of the figures in the wave nyla rose is just from Dynamite, and then Lance Archer is from Double or Nothing 2020. On the other side, we do have the AEW logo yet again, and that pretty much wraps up our packaging for these two figures, man. If you would like to grab these, you already like what you see, you want to pick up any more WWE or AEW action figures, man, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Really appreciate when you guys use the code. It goes a long way in helping out the channel. So thank you guys so very much for that, man, but I'm not that excited for this full wave, man. Honestly, I don't feel like this wave was the most exciting, but I don't think it's fair to judge it until we have all of them out of the packaging, all of them out of the reviews. So with that being said, guys, let's dive into Nyla Rose and Lance Archer. So here's Archer and Rose out of the packaging. Guys, I post them around a little bit, and I'm, uh, I don't know we'll get into all the different stuff. That's all I can really say. But Lance Archer doesn't come with any accessories, man, so I really don't know what to do about that. But I guess we can start off with Nyla Rose. We'll dive into the accessories first and then the figure. And then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Archer because he has no accessories whatsoever. So that's pretty upsetting for Archer, man. Like, what, what are we doing here? Not even, like, interchangeable hands. You can get a jacket, an entrance vest. You get something. No. Don't get nothing. So that being said, guys, let's dive into Nyla Rose's accessories. So for Rose's accessories, guys, we get a women's champion here. Now, I will say, I want to say this is the exact same mold. I'm not noticing any differences between this version and the versions that we got with Riho. Then we get one with Riho. We got one with Sheeta, right? I don't think I see any differences in it. Very tiny figure belt, like really, really tiny. Wasn't a fan of the design when it first came out. Still not the biggest fan of this in figure form, but it is another women's championship. I think we're also getting a belt pack or something like that with the, champion, with the championship left out, so the women's championship is not a part of that. So, if you guys missed out on that, you're going to have to grab a rose you're going to have to grab a Sheeta, you're going to have to grab a Riho or something like that, but that is the women's championship right there, which looks pretty good. I want to say Rose is a two-time champion, but I can't, and now I can't remember. Regardless, diving into the other accessory, I believe this is a, just a cloth wrap. Now, it is a very nice material. It's got a nice red colorway going to it. If you unfold it here, it is like this long piece right here, and it does have like rips on the other side. I don't know if that's supposed to be accurate. I don't know if it's supposed to hang down like that, so it looks like it's ripped on the bottom, or what the case is. Is. And I can't, I think this is goes around the shoulders. Is this, is this, you go around the shoulders or do you go around the waist of the figure? I want to say it went around the shoulders in the packaging. So I guess you wrap it around like that. I can't remember for some reason. I, I don't know what the deal is there, but I want to say the chase has this in orange. So I don't, I don't know about that, but that is a nice cloth piece. I'm glad we got something, you know, we've seen st stuff similar to this from the entrance great Finn Balor. We've seen it with Jericho with his scarves or MJF with his scarves. So that's pretty cool. I like it that we're getting cloth accessories somewhere in this line, so that's pretty nice. I like that. But that pretty much does it for the accessories with Nyla Rose, so let's now dive into the main aspect of the review, and that would be the figure itself. Alright guys, so starting out at the top of the head sculpt, not my favorite head sculpt here. Like, I think it does have some likeness. I feel like maybe the head sculpt would look a lot better if the lipstick was maybe included or something like that, because when you look at Nyla on the back of the packaging, it kind of throws it off when you translate it over to the figure and the likeness. And also, this is another screaming figure. I feel like we've seen so many screaming screaming figures. I don't know why every figure has to yell or every figure has to have a screaming face or a grimacing face. It's okay to have serious faces. I like, I much prefer a serious face like Cody or Kenny from Unmatched or Darby Allen or the way the FTR look. But you do got the nice headband on there with the gold and black pattern, which is pretty cool. I feel like head sculpts with long hair also come off really, really easily, at least in this 
this wave is what I'm noticing. Going down into the torso, we do have the black and gold chest plate going on right there. Nice sculpts going on here with like a chevron pattern. It is the same like soft rubber material right here. On the back, the back is out right there and they did include the tattoo on the back, so that's pretty nice right there. She also has tattoos over here. One on the inner arm there, one on the lower forearm right there. Not a lot of detail going on with it. It's kind of just like, you know, plain black there and it's pretty like dark black, so it's not like a lighter gray realistic tone that we get usually. She does have black wrist gauntlets on here. Nice sculpted pattern right there. They are not removable, so if you guys are wondering about that, it is not removable there. Black hand tape on there. Mic holding style hands that do come with this figure, so you do get the mics. You do get the mic holding hands there. This is a very interesting concept right here. So you do have the logo or the handprint logo right there on the on the waist wrap, but this is not like movable. This is actually sculpted in place, so you cannot rotate this or anything like that. So if you guys are wanting to rotate that, it is not possible, and I feel like that really hinders the articulation, which we'll cover in just a moment. But on the back, you do get the NR logo right there, and again, this is sculpted on there, and oh my good lord in heaven, I almost ripped that completely off. It is not glued down very good. Like, if I barely pull that, that is going to come off, so be careful with that. Do not pull that. You guys can kind of see right there. It's kind of coming up in the back, so do not pull on that too hard. Like, I barely pulled it. This one is much more secure than the back, but going down into the legs, guys, you do get the black and gold on the knee pads right there. They do look sculpted on. I think those are sculpted on knee pads right there, you know, not just like painted on knee tape, and then you do have the lower legs here. Now, I will be real. These boots look like Jack's boots. That looks very Jacksy to me, like with the, uh, just the way they look. They look very, very Jacksy. They have like a thick look to them and they look very, I don't even know how to explain it. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? But you do have the fringe on the top of the boots and she does not have lower leg articulation here. There's no boot rotation. There's no lower leg rotation. So that is pretty bummerific. You guys know that I hate that. So that sucks. She does have ankle pivot though, which is nice to see, but those feet and boots look very jacksy. Let's get into the articulation right here so you guys can see. Now with the head sculpt, you're not going to be able to move down or up really because the head sculpt's going to come off, so that's kind of, you know, that kind of sucks. And then the ab crunch I've found is really not good either. Like when you try to bend it forward at all, it pops off. Now I don't know if that's because of the way this like waist was made or this crotch piece was made. I do not feel that this figure has the, the same ab crunch, man. Like every other AEW figure, it does have ball joints, so that's very nice to see. Double jointed knee, which is really good. Again, no lower leg rotation, so you do get the upper thigh cut. The boots go down and up, and there is ankle pivot here, so that's nice. Double jointed arms, which are always beautiful. You'll never, that, you know, that'll never get old there. Shoulders go out and all that stuff, but I'm really disappointed in the ab crunch on this figure. Like, it's basically like an ultimate edition kind of, except it pops off. So it's like an ultimate edition, but you can't get, it won't just stay in place because it will pop off. So the ab crunch is very disappointing, and then it doesn't have lower leg rotation at all, so that's kind of bummerific, but uh, that pretty much wraps up our Nyla Rose. So for your figure comparisons, guys, I do have Sheeta right here. Now, I do not have my Riho figure for whatever reason. I can't find it at this juncture, so we're just gonna have to roll with this. But I forgot that they also made Riho's and Sheeta's stomach just like this, where, like, the ab crunch isn't the best, but I haven't found that Sheeta's, like, pops off like the Nyla Rose figure does, so I'm not sure what that is. But just like those, no lower leg rotation either, so I don't know, man. The lower leg rotation has to be a thing. Every figure ever should come with lower leg articulation in some point as far as rotation, man. Like, either, whether it be the lower leg or the boot, preferably the boot with, like, you know, uh, a separate piece for the lower leg articulation. Just, we need boot swivel on all these figures, man. It should be a must, but that wraps up our Nyla Rose. So, diving into Archer, man, I really do like this head sculpt a lot. I think the likeness is beautiful, really. Like, honestly, great looking head sculpt. I think the likeness is super there. He doesn't have the beard braid or anything like that, but the likeness to this figure is very nice. It doesn't have any weird bags or any like darkness or anything like that. It looks really, really clean. So kudos to them for that. I love the way the mohawk looks with the braid going down with the red color. I think that looks really, really sick. Very nice figure and it's head sculpt. Like I really like the head sculpt a ton on this figure. Don't think you can get better than that. I know it is yelling, but this yelling head sculpt captures a lot of the likeness of Lance Archer. But hopefully next time on his figure, he will have a, you know, just a pissed off expression there. Now going down into the torso, I don't know how I feel about this torso. I can't, I, I, I wanna say this is the John Moxley torso if I'm not mistaken. It may not be, it may be completely different. I feel like that one has a little bit more girth to it or something. 
but I almost feel like this is too small. Like, Lance Archer's a pretty big dude, and I will say his arms are tiny. Like, his arms are way tiny with the, bi you know, with the bicep, with the, you know, the barbed wire tattoo going around right there. I could definitely say that his skin tone could probably be a tad darker as well, and he could be a bit more jacked. Like, I think that is something that you could have done there. However, I still like the way the figure looks. You got the black wrist tape and everything like that, but I will say he, he could be bigger, or at least his arms need more definition or something like that. Like, he just has these little baby arms for Lance Archer. I just don't know if that works. On the back, though, you do have all of his different tattoos on his shoulders, his arms. You got the massive cross tattoo with, like, the burning stuff going on with the flames. You got the graveyard tat down here, which is super crazy. This is how it looks in real life, too. It's just black blob down here with the crosses coming out, which I always thought was terrible. Like, just, just not a very good tattoo. Sun tattoo over here on the left shoulder. You have the words going up his arms and down the other side, which I really like. Looks cool. And then you have his gear, which I think is the best part of the figure outside of the head sculpt. You got the L.A. logo right there, very similar to the Dodgers L.A. logo. You got silver and red, and you got the stitching patterns going on, all the different stuff. Red belt over there, which looks cool. You got Murder Hawk Monster down here. Some cool sculpts going down on the legs, which I really like. You got all this different pattern. You got Everybody Dies right there. Back pocket of the figure kind of sculpted down to the upper thigh, which looks a little bit weird. So, I mean, I guess it's not a big deal, but the pockets are sculpted kind of like on the lower, like, hips or, or upper thighs. More stitching over here. Baggy lower legs, and then he has, like, Jazzwear's version of the Batista boots, kind of, where he has, like, the straps down the side, or the Zack Ryder boots, whatever you want to call it, in the red and black, which look really, really clean, and then you have the Murder Hawk logo kind of deal going on right there. Very nice. I like the way the figure looks overall. I just think he needs to be more muscular or something. I think the musculature is missing from this figure, but if you guys want to get into the articulation right here, he can look up a tad, like, not super much because of the, you know, like, he's bald, so there's a little lip down there. He can look down pretty good, though, I will say. I feel like the head may look a little bit oversized because his torso is a little bit too skinny or his arms are, but Jesus Christ, man. Ab Crunch isn't the best on this figure either compared to other AEW figure series, but if you cinch it in right there, you can get a little bit of bend right there. Double jointed arms, which are always going to be beautiful. He can, you know, rotate the shoulder there. Has ball joints like every other AEW figure. You do get the double jointed knee, which is nice, and he does have boot rotation, which is really nice as well. He can do the splitsies like we mentioned. Upper thigh cut up here. Very nice stuff, man. Very, very nice stuff going on with the figure. Like, again, I don't know. I like the head sculpt. I just feel like the torso kind of throws it off with the skinny arms and, like, the, like, no musculature really going on with it. And maybe it may be a bit pale for, you know, a Lance Archer. But I still like the figure, you know. I, I, I don't know. I like it. I think its height's pretty good, but uh, that does it for your Lance Archer figure. And for your big man AEW figure comparison, man, here's Lance Archer up next to Luchasaurus, Jake Hager, and Dustin Rhodes. So all these kind of scale well with each other. I, I, I don't really have a problem with any of these. I mean, Lance Archer is probably a little bit taller than all of them, honestly, but not the biggest deal. I think it works out pretty good, and I just feel like this torso would work better for the Lance Archer figure. Am I out of my mind, or would it work better? I, I don't know. Maybe the arms and shoulders would be a bit too big, but I don't know, man. I think you could have got away with it. I don't know. I'm just playing around with stuff there, but that does it for your Lance Archer figure comparisons. But anyways, guys, that pretty much wraps up our 2-in-1 AEW Series number 7 review on the Lance Archer and Nyla Rose figures. Overall, kind of underwhelmed with both. I think both of them do have their issues. I think just overall Series 7 just isn't my favorite wave. Like, we're gonna see how this ranking goes once we get into that, so that'll be an interesting video for sure once we dive into Cash Wheeler and Dax Horwood. But overall, just not impressed with either of these to the fullest extent. I think the Lance Archer figure is, is solid overall. I just think it has a few missing wonky parts there. And then the Nyla Rose figure, the ability, you know, the ab crunch isn't very good. Felt like the likeness could be a bit better. No lower leg rotation at all, you know, no boot swivel or anything like that. That also hurt that figure. And then, you know, Lance Archer doesn't come with any accessories. But that is pretty much going to wrap up this video, man. If you liked what you saw in this video or you enjoyed the figures or you want to add these to your collection, man, Ringside Collectibles, WrestlingFigures.com. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10% when shopping over there. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like the no boot rotation on the Nyla Rose. You cross the line. I've been beaten